you have this question. The figure below is a model of a watchtower uh, with a square base of side 10 centimeters. So the base 10 centimeters and um, height PU height PU is 15 centimeters and the slanting edges UV uh, is equals to T, uh, UV UV TV SV is equals to RV all of them are equal and are equal to 13 centimeters um, giving the answer correct to two decimal places calculate the rest okay you have to calculate uh, let me use a, a, a different uh, paper that will not confuse you yes <coughs> calculate so given all that calculate the length mp eh? mp so we are going to look at uh, each question uh, individually yes so remember this is potent case here revisions you can reach me through that number on whatsapp or even call okay now the length mp mp where is mp mp the diagonal of the base okay yes so the first thing mm, we can draw this diagram for is for is of follower since we are going to use it so the first thing you need to find uh, to to draw this base which is like um it's not like this it is like this mm. yes something like this yes so <coughs> you have something like a cuboid then now you have And then now, since these are on the other side, you can have them like this. Something like that. Yes. Uh -huh. We can uh, try to be a little bit perfect with this, so that we do not mess up. Yes, something like this. So you are asked to find the length M P. This is N, this is Q. <coughs> S T U and V and this is R. Okay. Now the purpose, uh, the reason why I was drawing is just to demonstrate, uh, to show you that this is a cuboid, then it has a cone, which has a square base. And this is 10 centimeters. We are told this is 10 centimeters. This is 15 centimeters. And this is 12, 13, sorry, centimeters. These are all equal. <coughs> now, being asked about the length MP, Part A, length M, P. So what do you know about this? Now we can extract this square into something like this. And we have M, this is M, this is P. Then you can have N and Q. And this is 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters. Being asked about this, uh, we can use uh, Pythagoras theorem where we say a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So 10 centimeters 10 squared plus 10 squared is equal to mp. Okay, squared. 
All right, so this is 100 plus 100, which is uh, plus 100 is equals to mp squared. Uh, 200 is equals to mp squared. To find mp, you find the square root of 200 equals to mp. So mp mp is equals to uh, the square root of 200 it must be let us uh, you can use your calculators uh, to find this <coughs> So it is 14, 14.14 14. centimeters, okay? Yes. So we are done with the, that part. Then we go to part B. Part B asks the angle, part B. Let me come and demonstrate well. Part B asks the angle between MU, MU, and the plane. So MU, M, U. So you can see a line MU and the plane. M, N, P, Q. M, N, P, Q. So you draw a line here. That's the angle between that line and uh, the plane. So... Mm. If I can be able maybe to demonstrate even further, uh, I don't know, uh, it will be a little bit difficult to demonstrate with this house, but we are asked for to draw a line like this, M U M U angle between M U and the plane uh, and the plane plane M N P Q M N P Q so if you draw that line if you draw that line the angle you are being asked is uh, this <coughs> let us draw with you here in your paper so that you can see better so you are being asked to draw a line here. Then you find the angle between this and this. Okay? The line and the plane. So the plane you can use the center the center or the center line. Because now you will have a rectangle M P U and N M. Okay? So just in case you don't uh, get my drawing uh, so here you have you, you are going to use this the center line don't use the side because this line cuts MU and this it will meet this line so you have another straight line from here up to this point and up to this other side so to find this angle you can draw this triangle separately. You can draw it like this. You have, uh, this is U, and this is P, and this is M. So this angle you are being asked about it. So this length, we have already found it as 14.14 centimeters. Do we have this? We have 15 centimeters. So we are being asked about this angle, angle theta. Now, to find that angle, you can use a Sokatoa. Sokatoa. Now, which um, which uh, which formula best fits this question? Remember, this is the hypotenuse. Both of these formulas need the hypotenuse. This one is the best fit for this answer because it does not have a hypotenuse. Now, you say tan theta equals to tan 
opposite. So we are here, opposite, opposite over adjacent, which is opposite 15 centimeters over 14.14 centimeters. So divide this, you'll get tan liter, tan liter equals to uh, 15 divided by 1, 4. It should give you 1.1.04. What about theta? So tan theta and tan of 1.4. Uh, 1.04 should give you uh, 46.69 degrees. Okay? So you can do this in your calculator and you'll find this. So that is the answer for part uh, two. Uh, <coughs> the third part you are being asked about the length VO. Length. So the length VO, so where is V? This is V. And where is O? O, the center down here. So the length VO, the center. Of this part should be the length of V up to the where this plane starts then you add 15 because we already have this height. so we don't have this height so that is basically what you are needed to know so you have uh, V O this is O here so this length V O equals to uh, so suppose we we come here and create another one called uh, A. Yeah, don't see A. So it is V A plus 13. I'm a A O, which is 15, sorry, not 13. Now, this is the task. To find this, you need to know uh, we have this slanting height, we have this, but we also have this because we already have this uh, length, so we have this length. We can get half of it, all right? Yes. So half of this will be, it was 14.14, .14, so this is 7 point, <laughs> 7 point 07, okay? Yes, not 7.7. .7. So you divide by 2, it is 7.07, uh, this length. And you have this length. So to find this, it is easy. You use again Pythagoras theorem. So you have is equals to V A plus uh, A O, which is V A plus fifteen centimeters. So V A is equal, to find V A. You have uh, this is thirteen, and this is seven point zero seven. You want to find this point, okay? You want to find this. Uh, so to find this, you are going to say uh, it's like a uh, you have a squared plus seven point zero seven squared is equals to thirteen squared. So a squared is equals to thirteen squared minus seven point zero seven squared. Uh, which is a is equal to the square root of all this. So find uh, this answer, and you are going to find uh, you are going. Uh, if you calculate this, this is our uh, one sixty nine minus. Uh, let us just do with you so that uh, you understand better. Seven squared is. Uh, 49. So, <coughs> so 7.07 squared times 7.07 uh, is equals to. Oh, sorry. So, this is a uh, 49.98 uh, is equals to the square root of. So, minus.
inch plus uh, 169 will be 119.0151 and uh, then I doubt this answer Well, let me redo it. So 169 minus 49 49.98 is equal to yes, 02. Yes, now um, how do you find the square root of this? You find the square root. square root of 119.02 we have 10.91 so 10.91 is equals to the length so so this is the length from here to this point but you ask v o so you add 15 so VO is equals to 10.91 plus 15 centimeters is equals to 25.91 centimeters. Yes, and you have it. Now, the last part, and we have exhausted our space. The last part asks <coughs> the angle between planes. The angle the angle between don't know whether you can see well the angle between planes V S T V S T so you can see V S T and plane R S T U R S T U. So this plane, this plane, and the, the other, the plane as you can see, V S T and R S T U. So very good. So in this case, we are asked about this V S T, this, and the other plane here. So when you are asked about uh, that question. When you answer about that, what you are supposed to do, you are supposed to find a line that is at this center, and now you look for the angle between this line and this. Because it is difficult to find, uh, you cannot find that angle by using these lines. This is Aupandi. No, because they are converging at the center. So find a central line. Find a central line here. Yes, I've already drawn this. And another one here. Then find the angle between them. Okay? Yes. So, for example, even in a room, if you ask about the angle between the uh, two walls, you take the central, the central line in that wall, in this other one. So this is important, especially in the roofing, because roofs has a kai kua very straight. So, uh, so here, here we are. So do we have this length? Yes, we do. Do we have this? Yes, we also have. Uh, yes, so we can draw this triangle somewhere else. Uh, and uh, I think we are going to delete something. But before, uh, I have not seen Max in this question. So there are no... I want to delete one. So there must be some questions with the three Max. Others with the two marks. So just forget about that, but uh, let us solve this question. Yes. In this part. All right, now. Uh, you can draw this triangle and see, so this is A, this 
center. This one we don't have this, but you can say it is x. And then this is v. Now, do we have this length? We do, because we already have, this is 10, this is 10, all everywhere. So if this is 10, half is 5 centimeters. Do we have this height? Yes, we have just found it. It is, was, uh, it, was it 15? No. Now this is 15. That was 10 point, uh, 10 point, point nine one. And you are being asked about this angle. Uh, we don't have this height. Yes, we don't have it. But if you want to find that height, you can uh, check this triangle. You see, now, this is 13, and this is 13, and this is 10, 5, and 5. You can also find this if you wish to. Uh, and it's actually, is it 15, 12? Yes, because 169 minus 25, it is 144. So this is 12. You can, uh, you can do that. Now, find this angle. Um, yes. Yeah, so uh, I was wondering whether it will uh, match with this, but it is okay. It can. Uh, 144 minus 25 to give you some figure. If you find the square root, it will not be exactly 11, but it will, be, it will, it will have some decimals. <coughs> or you can also find this by doing the same. Square of this plus square of this will give you this. Uh, all right. Now, at this juncture, which is important that uh, we find this uh, uh, angle, which is asked, how do you solve this? Uh, using uh, 12 and 5, you say Sokatoa. So, ka to um, So, we have a sign. You can, because we have the hypotenuse, I now, I now prefer this because it does not have a decimal, but you can use it either. So, if you use sign or uh, so opposite over uh, over hypotenuse or cosine which is adjacent so cos theta is equals to 5 adjacent over hypotenuse okay yes uh, so with this you you divide you get uh, so divide that if you want to get the answer, anti-cos of theta is equal to. So we can divide this with you. We can divide this with you, which is uh, 5 divided by 12. Uh -huh. 5 divided by 12. It should give you. Uh, 0 0.4167 uh, So 0 0.4167 Now this is the cosine Now to get the angle to get what is theta is equals to anti-cos of the cosine of uh, 5 0 0.4167 which is now I find the articles in a calculator to do the articles you una finya pale kwa shift then cosine then the, you put your figure the angle you will get 65.38 degrees yes and uh, that is uh, done that is all uh, all you asked in this question. Remember, these questions are drawn from past KCSC questions. Yeah. So if you have, uh, if you master well these questions, it is easy, and you can, you can be taking this. Uh, they can be like a choice question for you. Wakati unapata this question in KCSC, ten marks. You can be writing to it. So, uh, the distribution of marks for this question, I have not indicated in this paper, but it is 10 marks overall. 
So maybe part D, which we have done right now, could be three marks. Uh, and part B, three marks, but the rest, the lens, two marks each. Yes. So one mark for demonstrating this, uh, then doing it, and one mark here. So it is important. Now, <clears throat> I hope you have understood this question. Uh, it is in 3D from 4. I taught this question uh, both from 3 and from 4 during last holiday, August, and I gave them an assignment on the same. Those uh, from three students who are there, they got it right. Two, they were, they were two, and all of them got it right. So it is important for to practice. It is an easy topic that you don't need to be taught so many days so that you can get the concept. You can be taught just now and you get it, and you if you're given the same. So please redo this. Just close this video, redo this question, and then test yourself whether you have understood. When you have a question, you can repeat or you can comment down below and I'm sure and I'll be sure to clarify anything, any question you have. Now, please uh, like this video, uh, subscribe uh, to this channel, turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a video, you can be notified. Thank you very much.